is match number 26. TRC Stadium is all set to witness another outstanding encounter. We have seen Real Kashmir FC. They defeated Churchill Brothers in their previous encounter and this time it's time for Trau. When you talk about the points table, right at the top of the points table, we have got Real Kashmir. They have played four games. They have won three. The one game was draw. Kashmir, what I basically believe is they have gone unchanging. This is literally surprising. Ibrahim, who scored that goal in the previous encounter, he is still sitting on that subs when it's time for Tidim Road Athletic Union. So it's going to be Bishwajit, the goalkeeper for the side. Gogoi is sitting in the subs bench, building up here in the beautiful TRC Stadium of Srinagar. Referee, assistant referee, fourth official, everyone is happy. Big moment coming up for both the teams. The captains coming over there. Coin goes up so that we can go with the kickoff. Here it is, the kickoff time. Nand Kumar Singh. The coach for the side, the coach for Trau, where has got Samta over there. Oh, it's an opportunity. Decent defense by the defender. What a great play of defense by Justin. A corner for that. So the first corner opportunity for Trau. Troll to play. Goes for a right footer. Corner. The ball sinks. A header. In fact, from that flank. And now that building attack. Can they go for the first goal? A chance being created over there. But a decent work. The coaching of uh, Maharaj Bhai. Now it's an opportunity for Trau and Subhashish. Look at this from the left flank. Just wanted to go for that cross. Stops the ball. Falling down towards the right hand side. A tough chance there. But Milan with that kick. Both the teams are struggling a bit high. This was the case in the previous encounter. A left footer coming once again from Milan. Which was required. A decent pass. Just took his time. Went for that left footer. They are asking the players to get in the defensive end when the offense of Real Kashmir starts big, uh, beginning the attack. So a tough chance. It enters the 18-yard box. And a free kick on the edge of the box. And I think Komran Torsno will uh, take uh, it. He is one of the most experienced players of Trau. And is yes, it is. So five guys in that goal. It is the first goal. The first goal coming up for Trau. Within no time, what a kick it is! What a kick it is! A sort of a start that this team was watching, and Comron delivering it at the right time. As I mentioned earlier, that this is very scary for Real Kashmir that Comron Tors now is taking the free kick. Just had an eye. We have seen Subhashish not making a lot of the mistakes, but this time an opportunity for Real Kashmir. Can this be the first goal? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! The first goal coming up for Real Kashmir and Baba doing it for the side. Look at the reaction of the crowd. Look at the reaction of the coach of Real Kashmir. They are enjoying. This is an equalizer now. 1-1 one, one for Real Kashmir FC, 1-1 one, one for Trao. Took this opportunity and this was a much, much needed equalizer from Nozim, who is a Tajik uh, player number 10. He Kamal Preet Singh, who will be playing as a defender too. So there was a kick from Vududu. Vududu goes for that heavy high kick. Oh, injury concern once again. Not good visuals. Not at all good visuals. This guy has just entered the field and he's down. Kamal Preet Singh it is. And Naresh, he went brutal over there. That kick was not required. And that literally hurts. Kamal Preet, he is in pain. He is in severe pain. But credit goes to Trau here. They have uh, played some fantastic football. One more ball from Kamal Torsina. And that resulted in a goal. Absolutely. I told you that you should never keep this guy out of your sight. So that's a goal. Great molecular stuff as far as Trau is concerned. Just trying to come in. Goes for that right footer. Passes up the goalkeeper towards the right flank and builds up that attack in a beautiful goal. So soft, so smooth it was. Some great work. And it's not just us in the comp box. It's a big team. Producer, director, how goes the whistle. Which means it's half time now. It was Real Kashmir FC who got up victorious against Churchill Brothers. So he's back in action. And what can shift up in the action will come to know. Justin with the long throw in, it can result in a goal now. Vadudu has the opportunity and it is an absolutely equalizer. It's a 2-2 for Real Kashmir. 2-2 for Real Kashmir FC and Trao. Here it is, that header just decently assisted over there. And then Vadudu leaving no stone unturned for getting the second goal for the side. For getting all the spectators on their feet, onto the stands. Oh, what a game of football this is. 
Everyone was waiting for this action to take play. That right footer coming up. A good work in this defense done. Moro running up with the ball. Can he get another quick, quick opportunity? He's having the ball. Goes for the kick. Here it is. Come on, come on, come on. Goal number three coming up for Ria Kashmiria. What happened in the replay? Muzambal. My God, this is a crazy run by Moro from his own half. What a counter attack this has been. And once Moro took a shot, I was not sure that he took the right decision because uh, Nuruddin was there. It's a throw in opportunity for the captain Williamson. Williamson didn't waste any time. He didn't take the position decently. He just went in with that wide throw. He wants the boys to do it. And here it is. The whistle blows. The winner of the game, Real Kashmir FC. Well, here it is. The full time score. It's 3 2 in, three two in favor of Real Kashmir. Hero of the match. For Hero I League, of course, the captain of the side, Moro.